If you want to add a sound slider to your game, start by opening up your settings menu and adding a H slider to the scene. Select this H slider, set the maximum value to 1, the step to 0 0.01 and then the current value to 1. Resize and reposition this bar to where you want it. Next you'll need a script. If you already have one you can use that, but I don't, so I'm going to select my settings menu and then add a script. Top of the script we'll create a variable that will hold the index of the bus that we want to change. We can get the bus by typing audio server and then call in the get bus index method. Inside of this method we'll need to pass the name of the bus that we want to get. By default Godot has a bus called master. You can add custom buses by clicking the audio tab down here and then clicking the add bus button. But for this tutorial we'll just use the master bus. Next, select your button and rename it to something that makes sense, like Master Volume Slider. With the node selected, select Node, go down to Signals, and then connect the Value Change signal to the script. Inside the signal, we're going to call the following method. This method will set the bus's volume in decibels. We'll need to pass two arguments into this method. The first one will be the index of the bus that we want to change, which will be Master Bus Index. And the second one will be the value that we want to change it to in decibels. Currently, our value here is not in decibels, which means that we'll need to convert it into decibels before we can use it. Luckily, Godot has a function for this. It's called linear to db. Inside of this function, we're going to pass through our value. If you want to add a slider for music or SFX or whatever else, then you can just repeat the steps in this tutorial for each slider that you want to add. If you want to support more videos like this, consider becoming a channel member. Also, check out this next video on screen.